I believe there's a huge opportunity coming that's going to allow us to make a quick profit with very little risk. And if for some reason it does go against us, no problem. We just roll to the next month and collect additional profits. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make a quick profit with an earnings trade in Chewy. I answer the questions, is now the right time for an option trade in Chewy? Is Chewy a good company poised to skyrocket or drop? How do we sell a put option in Chewy on the option trading platform? Hey guys, Darren here. We've got a great video for you here today. However, before we start, if you appreciate the effort and the work that goes into making videos like this, all I ask is that you do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot, so thank you very much. I think it's super important that we understand the different strategies that the rich are using to get richer so that we can use those same tools and strategies and profit in any market. Be sure to download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research and if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. Is now the right time for an option trade in Chewy? Guys, everyone loves their pets, right? They don't talk back, they're always happy to see you, they love to play, and they just love you no matter what. Chewy is a pure e-commerce business that provides pet food and treats, pet supplies and pet medications, and other pet health products, as well as pet services for dogs, cats, fish, birds, and horses, reptiles, through its retail website, Chewy.com, as well as mobile applications. The company offers approximately 110,000 products from 3,500 partner brands. Guys, let's take a look at Chewy right now. If we look at the five-year chart on TradingView, it's not too pretty. It was up at 118 back in 2021 during the pandemic when brick and mortar stores were closed and people were forced to order online. Chewy is now trading at just $18 today. Looking at Chewy's income statement, we see that revenue has been consistently growing year over year for the past several years. And the balance sheet is clean too, with assets increasing while keeping liabilities in check as well. So in wanting to place an earnings trade in Chewy, it would be good to know if the stock is going to go up or down after earnings is announced, right? In other words, is Chewy a good company poised to skyrocket or not? Rick Maneras covered Chewy in an article just a few days ago that talked about why Chewy is currently down. First, he indicated that net sales rose 14% in its latest fiscal quarter and 15% the period before that. Chewy keeps posting double-digit gains on the top line, a streak that stretches back to its IPO more than four years ago. Then he talked about why it's down. Why is Chewy trading 50% lower in 2023 despite its consistency? The biggest culprit is that its active customer base is stalling. The 20.4 million customers it was serving in its fiscal second quarter is 0.6% lower than where Chewy was a year ago. The sell-off seems overdone. Net sales still rose 14% in its most recent report despite a slight decrease in active customers because the average account was spending 15% more. Chewy's auto ship platform that encourages loyalty through discounts on automatically scheduled repeat purchases saw its sales volume climb 18% over the past year. Chewy's guidance calls for revenue growth to slow to an 8 to 9% pace, an end to its streak, but the market has seen Chewy exceed its conservative outlooks before. The next big test comes next week, or this week, Wednesday, when it reports its fiscal third quarter results. I believe so as well, and it looks like Rick is bullish on Chewy. Here is another viewpoint from James Brumley. Chewy stock now sits 84% below its early 2021 peak thanks to its recent 10% setback. Maybe it was B of A recent downgrade of the online pet retailer due to persistently high inflation that's taking a toll on pet-related spending. 
He talks about PetSmart, Walmart, Target, and Kroger as competitors with enormous reach. However, Chewy is not saddled with all the costly and complicated baggage of building a brick-and-mortar retail business first and then adding online shopping later. Chewy did a little over $10 billion worth of business last year, and it's expected to generate more than $11.2 billion in sales for the year currently underway. Analysts are looking at top line of nearly $12.3 billion next year. So you can see James is bullish as well. Lastly, Brett Schaefer also commented on Chewy and whether it's a buy or sell stock right now. Brett pointed out the average active customer spends $530 with Chewy each year. A big driver of that spending is the company's auto ship feature, which puts pet food and supplies on subscription-like schedules for customers looking for ease and efficiency. Last quarter, over 75% of Chewy's revenue came from its auto ship feature. By 2030, analysts expect the market to hit $275 billion, up from under $100 billion in 2020. If Chewy just retains its market share, it could theoretically more than double its revenue over the next 10 years. For me, there are four huge reasons why I am bullish on Chewy right now. Number one, it's a growth stock and inflation is starting to finally level off, so growth stocks should start to take off and do well going forward. It's business model. Although PetSmart, Walmart, Kroger, and Costco are major brick-and-mortar suppliers, Chewy has more people that are willing to buy online and it's growing. They also have an auto ship platform that works like a subscription service so customers can place monthly orders. This is a huge part of their business that's growing and almost guarantees future revenue. Lastly, the price is at lows. So with its current price, it can't go too much lower as it definitely isn't going out of business. If for some reason it goes against us, we'll just roll to the next month. So now we know that I'm going to place a bullish option trade in Chewy. So how do we sell a put option in Chewy on the option trading platform? We are using the Tasty Trade option trading platform. You can do this on any trading platform. However, Tasty Trade is one of the best and most intuitive for trading options. These are the guys that developed the TOS Thinkorswim option trading platform and then sold it to TD Ameritrade. TD and Schwab use this platform still to this day. Tasty Trade is even better. Use the link below and you can get cash back when you open an account. I recommend you open an account with at least about $5,000 so that you can place a few different trades. Punch in Chewy in the upper left while on the trade page and the option chains will pop up. We see that Chewy is currently trading at $18 and the IVR, implied volatility rating, is 102. This means that the option prices are high and that it's due to the fact that just prior to the earnings release, on this Wednesday, that's when volatility is high because the price is more likely to make a large move. After earnings, volatility will drop, so we want to sell options in the current high volatility environment and then hopefully buy them back for less dollars after the earnings event. Let's click and open the December 15th option chain since it's the regular monthly chain and just 12 days to expiration. I'm bullish, so I'm going to try and collect quite a bit of premium. Let's click on the bid to sell the 18 put option. We collect $1.52 for selling this option, which is really $152 since one option contract controls 100 shares of stock. Now, if we click on the curve mode while still on the trade page, we can visually see the profit zone in green. As long as we stay above the $18 strike price, we keep the full $152 that is placed in our account as soon as we hit review and send to place the trade. The break even is the $18 strike price minus $1.52 collected, which is $16.48. So the stock can actually move down and we still make money. Hey, what if we want to make more than just $152 on this trade? 
no problem. If you want to go bigger, just increase the number of contracts that you sell. I think I'll do that. If you sell two contracts, you collect $152 times two or $304. Now, what if the stock drops due to missing earnings or bad guidance going forward or something else? No problem. Just roll to the next month and collect more profits. Now, if this does happen, keep an eye out for the next video as I'll show exactly how to roll the options to the next month and collect the additional premium while waiting for the stock to come back. Last thing, guys, wait to place this trade just before the close on Wednesday, December 6th, just prior to the close. That way, you'll be able to make sure that you are in the best position with your puts and Chewy announces their earnings right after the close on that day. All right, guys, if you're a beginner and this sounded kind of confusing, don't worry. It did for me as well at first. We'll continue to cover details on option trading in future videos and learn and profit together. I put a link down below for the free options workshop. Be sure and grab that. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know any questions that you have. I answer every one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're trading. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.